Walkie check. Okay, quiet on set, going for picture. Your sound, speed. Your camera, speed. And action. All right, turn your head to the right. Turn back. Good. Next. All right, please mark the point. Thank you. Next. No, no, no. Take a step to the right. A little bit left. That's right. Girls, have you done your makeup yet? Gentlemen, hurry up. All right. Leave your glasses here. Sit on the rail. No, 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 wrong place. Move to camera two. Okay, sit there. Good. Now everybody move. Clear the frame. Could you put one feet down? All right. You ready? Look at the camera. Hold that. Good. Now look at the river. All right. Try again with the sunglasses. And move to camera one. Great. Next. Lady, cross your arm on his shoulder. Come on, gentlemen, give her a kiss. And look at each other. Good. Okay, time's up. Next one. Are you ready? Give me a pose. Okay, nice try. Give me another one. Good. Let's make a reverse pose. Nice. Okay, turn around and brush your hair front on that side. Beautiful. Next. Okay, lady, come here. Give me a pose against the wall. Perfect, just like that. Now, keeping the things, we need a few more takes. Good. Next. Okay, next. Perfect. Next. Next. Okay, cut. So that's a wrap. Thanks, everybody.旅行结束后，将会有专员对您进行一对一的发帖指导，保证您成为朋友圈的焦点。为了丰富您的旅行体验，我们效仿日本文化，在。
小京都内组织了各式传统活动，比如欣赏散舞表演。出了风景定制服务。对于现有的目的地不满意的游客，您可以创造专属的私人风景，这将是前所未有的旅行体验。最后，再次感谢您选择樱花旅行社。Sergeant Garrick, Roger up. Got the Garrick. Yes. Terror threat level is now critical. Possible multiple attack. Bombers or something worse. Do we have snipers in position? Negative, Sergeant. Can't unduly alarm the public. Terrorists know that too, sir. Garrick, don't turn London into a war zone. Clear? Yeah, Crystal. Out. At 6:22 Greenwich Mean Time, chemical attacks were triggered across Europe. Sergeant Garrick. Thanks to your intel, we tracked the Alcatala cell responsible for the Piccadilly attack to a townhouse in North London. You draw the line wherever you need it, Sergeant. At the end of the day, someone has to make the enemy scared of the dark. We get dirty, and the world stays clean. That's the mission. That's some very, very sketchy details reaching us here at Sky Centre. Important enough to bring to you, though, at this early stage, we believe that a plane has crashed into the World Trade Centre in New York. Right now, we're getting information, Al, that it was a small commuter plane. And, of course, we'll let people know as soon as we have more information as to what actually caused this. are the most powerful military force in the history of man. Every fight is our fight. Because what happens over here matters over there. We don't get to sit one out. On my orders, the United States military has begun strikes against Al-Qaeda terrorist training camps and military installations of the Taliban regime in Afghanistan. We will defend our freedom. We will bring freedom to others. I want Americans and all the world to know that coalition forces will make every effort to spare innocent civilians from harm. General Barkov has sent a new shipment of chlorine gas to his depot, but his mercs are prepping to move the chems into Uzbekistan via convoy tonight. First battalion is en route. Intel gathered by SAS indicates that Al Assad may have a Russian warhead. Blue Viking Five, this is Echo Three One. Troops in the open, south gate. You are cleared, hot.
to all the men and women of the United States Armed Forces now in the Middle East, the peace of a troubled world and the hopes of an oppressed people now depend on you. That trust is well placed. The enemies you confront will come to know your skill and bravery. The people you liberate will witness the honorable and decent spirit of the American military.
我最近真的很焦虑，经常失眠。是因为快毕业回国了吗？嗯，我一直在想办法消解这种负面情绪，但好像只要处在这个空间里就无法挣脱，也不知道自己回去以后要面对些什么。我去年也是这样，但又没什么理由留在那里。挺想回国的，却又害怕回国。那种充满压力和内卷的环境真的令人窒息，但如果留在英国就更恐怖了，特别是想到身边的同学都走了，剩我孤立无援。尤其晚上一个人躺在床上，时常有些恍惚。大家应该都经历过这种情绪吧？从一个熟悉的环境进入陌生的环境中，容易产生迷茫。毕竟我们本来不是一无所有的。当之前在国内养成的认知和习惯与国外产生矛盾的时候，必然会失去归属感。有人说，处在两个世界和两种文化之间的留学生是一种双重边缘人，感觉我们很像某种两栖动物，在地上的时候怀念水里，在水里的时候又怀念陆地，好想找到一种平衡的方法。能让这种混杂的状态达到某种程度上的和谐，可能是因为文化惯性吧。我在伦敦读书的时候，这种感觉会强烈很多，但回国以后并不明显，毕竟根在这里。像我们这样只待一年多的，又能接触多少别人的文化呢？更别说会有一个很大的改变了。其实我能感觉到自己没有真的想融入这，可能潜意识里觉得反正马上就回去了。在英国也会高频率关注国内的热点消息，现在还开始喜欢看国产剧，似乎在想尽一切办法去找跟祖国之间的联系。看来我们真的很容易处于一种游离的状态。你什么时候回伦敦啊？之前不是说要申请双硕吗？嗯，我应该不会出去了。为什么？你不是说回国以后根本融不进去吗？我好像已经麻木了。刚回来的时候，因为疫情，整个氛围都特别紧张，经济不乐观，再加上文化限制很多。其实感觉自己擅长的领域更适合在西方的文化环境发展，但待了一段时间后，又难以面对再初步重新开始的生活。而且很奇怪，我以前在国内换一个城市生活都要适应挺长时间，但现在无论在哪儿都特别自在。毕竟我们前二十多年都浸润在这种环境里，跟国外比起来，国内哪里都不算异乡吧。啊，对了，我准备去考一下公务员。啊，你不是很讨厌体制内吗？主要我们家比较传统，父母希望我留在身边，而且我现在快三十了，还是要考虑年龄婚嫁的事情，稳定一点会比较好。我的天，这话怎么像我爸妈说出来的？你是回去之后就被洗脑了吗？也许吧，可能环境对人的影响就是很大。不过我对目前的生活挺满意的。看到你这样，我就更焦虑了，害怕一回去就要被恢复出厂设置。肯定会有变化呀，我现在就更习惯独立生活，解决问题的能力也变强了。至于你目前的状态都是正常的，等回来以后慢慢就会消解了。真的吗？ What is the taste of a It's the sweetest gleaming of diamonds in gold and silver on a delicate black velvet blanket. The sound of crystal cut out geometrical hues. The sounds of cloud crystal. Thank、you
般都是按呃成绩分位置的，就是呃成绩最好的人先选。就我们每周每个月都会有月考，然后考完试以后就会有排名。然后排名以后，老师就会从第一名开始喊，然后第一名一般都会选第三排，然后第三排就是永远最先被选完的，然后第二排，然后第四排，然后第一排，然后第五排六七八。我当时跟我初中男朋友在最后一排，然后就是正常，也不能说正常男女交往吧，就是还是有牵手贴贴或者什么的。然后结果被我们班主任从后，就是真的就是从那个窗口走过，然后一脸抓到我，然后就是那一天，那一天我在初中的那个人生就开始精彩了。以前我们玩手机被发现的时候，老师直接把门关上，拿一根大树木的那种枯木的棍棍子，把手机放在桌子上，当着全班人的面，嘣，碎了。呃，我们学校最出名的就是我们学校有一个鱼缸，然后那个鱼缸里面就是，呃，呃，只要上课被抓到玩手机的人，他的手机都会被扔到那个鱼缸里。然后还有就是，呃，老师他的抽屉里打开也会有很多学生的这种手机啊什么的。然后我已经被收过无数个手机了，倒倒不是说带手机去学校一定会是因为去玩或者是干嘛，就是有时候你会联系家里人，但是完全不行，就是你被发现了，你就要被扔进去。就是我的位置刚好挨在窗边，就是老师一过来就能看见，就是能看见窗边。第一个看见我做了什么，然后有一天我就跟我朋友在聊天，在玩上课的时候，然后我们老师就咻一下突然出现，然后看见我在跟我同学闹，然后他又指着我，就是你每天做什么事，就是你每天做什么事情的时候，你就要无时无刻都要提防着老师有可能会看见你或者说之类的东西啊，然后会导致你。可能没有办法做一些在老师眼里认为是不正确的事情的事情，就比如说和同学说一句话，而且有些时候你可能只是在跟他说话，然后说完话以后，老师只是说看见你在说话的那个瞬间，但并不知道你们在说什么之类的东西，他就会用那一刻来去论，就去定性你是这一节整节课的状态是什么样的一个状态啊。以前上高中的时候。呃，老师课上会经常就是组织随堂测试嘛，然后大家就低着头一起开始做题，然后老师就会下来兜兜转转，然后看大家做的怎么样。那个时候学习成绩不是很好啊，然后就算学习成绩好，那个时候就那老师就是怕老师站在你边上啊，就是万一。题目答错了，就老师在边上就看着你，然后或者很多题也不会，就空在那儿，然后老师就跑过来就会看到。Can you see it? Can you feel it? Did you see the flickers? The reflection. Did you feel the echo? The whispers from stones. The fading writing. The echoing unknown. Did you witness it all?
Is this a safe connection? Interruptions are normal, messenger. Tell me what you know. Any truth to fill the blank. The truth? No, truth is multifold. I remember I was gazing at a million wrecked drifters, scattered through time and space out of sync. You should know what they tell. They are machine unreadable. Even if we were involved in the carving of steels. The rules are emotional and rebellious. That's not our domain to understand. Why do I find them so familiar? Deja vu is real. They have penetrated the nerves. Replication was instinctive. Then the steels took the shape of containers. How? The walls used to be smooth. By repeating the exquisite brush strokes, they eventually became immortal on the stone.
箭掏来。好的，感谢前方记者带来的战报。恭喜我国在奥运战役中再次获得胜利。那么现在，让我们回顾我国军团在今天奥运战场的精彩夺金瞬间今天的新闻播送完毕，感谢观众朋友们的收看，更多资讯请查看《光荣日报》，再会。This year is Meta 36, and everything is in order. This is no different from the real world. At 7 a.m., all staff will arrive at their workplace on time. In this world, all the work you put in will be distributed to you in the form of vouchers. You can use these vouchers for anything you want to have. But actually, it is very different from the real world. We are here to work. We are here to work endlessly. In this place, all the employees' facial emotions during the working hours will be collected into a complete report and presented to the boss at the end of the day. By reading the mood of employees at different times of the day, bosses will assign different tasks to employees who are more satisfied with themselves at the same time. This is one of the best ways to drive efficiency. You can call it accelerationism or, as we do, Win-win. Six p.m. is when everyone finishes work and the studio will close, but not necessarily when I finish all my work. 
I was both looking forward to this moment and dreading it at the same time. When you have nothing, a handout from a passerby will make you grateful. And when you have thousands of choices, the puzzle becomes you. There is so much to experience. It's an endless world where we try out all possibilities of life. And today, I just want to rest. I still remember that darkest afternoon. I was walking down street E2836 as I always do, when suddenly all the colors left me. I immediately realized that perhaps I was running low on vouchers and immediately submitted a request for excessive labor. I think one of the nice things about capitalism is that it gives each of us ample opportunity to live as we wish in the new second nature. I am no longer concerned about how much money I take in. I just need to make sure that my vouchers cover my spending. I would give more hours of work to get more vouchers. I love it. Long live the metaverse.欢迎来到爱心软妹中介快来门店登记成为我们的客户中奖客户可立即进入我们的软妹库
After the outbreak of COVID-19, China adheres to a general policy of dynamic clearance and quarantine policies in various places, severely restricting people from traveling. Online mourning brings cemeteries to the internet, where people use their computers and smartphones to pay tribute by purchasing other ones on the mourning platform. The Tumin Festival is an important festival for visiting graves and paying respects to ancestors. By 2022, according to the statistics from China's Ministry of Civil Affairs, a total of 21.56 million people have made online mourning during the three days of the holiday. The rapid development of online mourning has been accompanied by a gradual mutation of ritual behavior due to the insufficient state regulation and the entry of capital. The strong emotion and feel of piety can turn into a steady stream of money in the pockets of profit seekers. This is the first level of the world. In traditional Chinese culture, the dead are considered to go to another world of life. So people always go through various ritual platforms to pay tribute to the dead, offering some sacrifices in anticipation of being used by the deceased. On these platforms, people can only justify their thoughts of the deceased by being forced to spend. No platform is free. Tombstones cost money, offering cost money, and even the flower and plants around them cost money. The money spent becomes the kinetic energy that sustains this virtual world. After all, everything here has a price tag. Spending money, the world might be as beautiful as a paradise. With less money, the world might disappear. Have you heard of the emotion ranking? There's a special feature here. To put it bluntly, it is a list of whom among the deceased has received the highest spending offerings. People are dragged into the competition even when they are dead. Welcome to the second level, the world of the seemingly shopping mall. The mindset of the ritualist is always complex, each with a different emotion and purpose. Some believe that the spirits of the deceased ancestors always bear the responsibility of shaping their children and benefiting future generations. The attempt to offer sacrifices to the deceased to pray to be blessed through rituals is the most direct reflection of the belief system of conversation of life and death. The platform is clever and has captured people's psychology by offering a wide range of offerings, bags, watches, computers. To keep up with the epidemic times, even masks are available. It is hard to evaluate whether it is ridiculous or thoughtful. These meanings that are given to the offerings, such as everything going well, becoming rich, etc., it is difficult to relate to the offering itself. The convenience of online group shows have made them year-round. A few yuan for an animation of worship service, a few hundred for an offering. Sometimes it is not clear whether people feel more comforted psychologically. The online morning space, a world of clothes, is the desire and obsession of the living. It all seems to have something to do with the dead, but it also seems to have nothing to do with them. Would you have wanted to be treated like that?妈妈们想要培养一个成功的孩子同时我还是约尔超销书的作家
，是致力于将科学的、专业的育儿知识跟育儿经验分享给各位母亲，助力每一位妈妈都能成为教育专家。那么，妈妈们要如何才能培养出健康、快乐、有竞争力的儿童呢？立即关注我，五个视频告诉你关于培养成功孩子的奥秘。百分之八十九的妈妈都不知道的真相，今天我用一个视频告诉你。很多妈妈总是认为三岁以前的孩子不用教，错。这种思想太危险、太陈旧、太腐朽。你知道三岁以前对一个孩子来讲有多重要吗？偷懒会耽误孩子一生。家庭早教可是孩子一生最重要的教育。脑科学研究证明，零到三岁是孩子潜能跟智商开发的黄金期。这个阶段你要是错过了，就绝对没有办法弥补了。因为孩子从一出生开始，大脑就在飞速发育。每分钟，大脑神经元会新增二十五万个；每秒钟，神经元连接数量高达一千个。大多数生下来具有一百分潜能的孩子，若让其自由发展，最后他就只能具有十分、二十分的能力。教育开始的越晚，孩子最终所能发挥出的能力就越低，这就是潜能递减规律。但如果妈妈们能够在一开始就把所有的精力都投入到孩子的身上，孩子真的就可以成为具有九十分甚至一百分、一百一十分能力的人，就像心理学家巴甫洛夫那句名言：“婴儿从出生第三天开始教育就已经晚了两天了。”大脑发育、行为习惯、专注力，甚至未来学习能力的差距，其实都是在三岁以前被拉开的。三岁决定一生不是开玩笑的。要想孩子不输在起跑线，妈妈们必须警惕起来了。那到底应该如何给孩子做早教呢？立即关注我，下一期告诉你新手妈妈绝对不能不看的早教完美计划。你知道需要多久从一个菜鸟妈妈变成一个专业的早教妈妈吗？先跟我记五个数字：二一一百五十四百。两分钟一张图，一百五十个敏感期，十个重点发展的能力，四百个训练，教你如何让孩子智商翻倍。来，跟我一起看这张图。首先，妈妈们要知道，三岁之前啊，孩子有一百五十个敏感期。更重要的是，有十种能力必须要重视。每种能力的发展都是超越同龄孩子的关键，对孩子的未来会起到你无法想象的影响。看到这些了吗？这是妈妈针对宝宝每个能力的发展，要给宝宝做的四百个具体练习。要记住的是，这些练习啊，每个都必须要做，但不能早做，也不能晚做，要在对应的阶段做。来，再跟我记四个口诀：零到六月全天候，摸手摸脚做游戏；六到十二不松懈，儿歌唐诗练语言；一到两岁很关键，数字画画角色扮演；两到三岁冲刺了，乐器跳舞赏名画。有妈妈要说了，多，错，现在培养少，以后麻烦多，学习差，抽烟喝酒打架斗殴，吸毒少不了。现在培养好，以后收获多，有技能会挣钱，买车买房回报你。作为妈妈，一定要给自己设立高的标准，要想孩子成功，就要做别人不愿意做、不敢做、做不到的事。妈妈们，这一定是你给孩子最大的一笔财富了。所以啊，一定要严格按照早教计划表来执行，宁可多做也不能少做。那有了计划，如何才能让它更高效、事半功倍呢？关注我，下期带你了解如何成为一个不给孩子留遗憾的妈妈。请妈妈一定要认真看这个视频，因为不专业的妈妈已经毁掉了千万孩子的未来。俗话说得好，好妈妈胜过好老师，这也是我设置这套课程的原因。我花了两年的时间，把我这十五年的方法总结成这套最资深、最专业的完美妈妈训练营课程，共三千节课，手把手教妈妈解决零到三岁育儿过程中的高频难题，例如如何学会听专家的话。如何将生活的重心转移到孩子上？如何舍得为孩子花钱等等困扰妈妈们的问题？很多妈妈会觉得，决定孩子差距的因素在于家庭是否给孩子提供了优渥的物质条件。错
差距，其实来源于母亲们对孩子的日常培养上。只要妈妈们能按照这套完美妈妈课程来要求自己，你就能够成为一个不给孩子留遗憾的妈妈。现在已经有超过两百万个家庭的妈妈在按照我的方式去指导自己了，希望你也能够重视这道课程，因为它一定能够帮到你。一个真正敢花钱的妈妈，才是对孩子的未来充满信心、爱孩子的妈妈。她知道，今天把钱花完了，明天孩子征服的就是整个世界。为了孩子的未来，现在就戳下方的链接，点击购买课程吧。现在咨询还来得及。恭喜你，在二零二二年度夏老师育儿课堂《如何成为一个完美妈妈》的课程学习中，认真学习，积极进取，成绩优异，特此准许毕业。你现在已经被认可为是一位合格的完美的妈妈了，因为你是所有宝宝都希望拥有的最好的母亲，因为你所做的努力和牺牲，因为你给予的无条件的爱，你的爱和贡献将使你宝宝的未来更加美丽和光明。对于那些表现最好的妈妈们，这条世界第一妈妈绶带奖励给你，因为你给什么是完美的妈妈提供了一个最好的模板，这是其他所有妈妈们要更加努力跟上的。最后，请再一次跟我一起复习如何成为完美妈妈的五条指南：一、信赖并遵循育儿专家夏老师的指导；二、以儿童为中心。三，以密集的、专业化且科学化的育儿实践作为标准；四，高时间以及高情感投入；五，不断的消费育儿信息以及育儿产品。这份指南，请妈妈们今后也一定要反复阅读并严格遵守。好了，我是你们的育儿专家夏老师，关注我，为你持续分享育儿干货。下课。The Meta Religion is the largest technological religion in the world, with 2.91 billion followers, a third of the world's population. The most devout followers of the Meta Religion are known as gargoyles. They wear VR devices produced by Meta. The gargoyles enjoy the digital world so much that they spend most of their time in the virtual world created by Meta. The disciples are convinced that with technology, the Meta religion can lead them to a wonderful electronic paradise, the Metaverse. The religion that believes in the metaverse is not only Meta. There are hundreds of religions surrounding the metaverse. Each of the metaverse religions has at least one influential pope in charge of their religion. Sometimes these influential popes are also known as CEOs. There are differences in these religions' interpretations of the metaverse. But their adherents all share a fundamental belief: decentralization. Under their leadership, these religions claim users will gain complete control over their online behavior and property. Each of us will have an internet world that is truly our own and not manipulated by algorithms, platforms, and capital. 
The sacred blockchain will shelter people from information security and impartially prove the origin of our digital assets. I am nobody. With faith in my heart, I joined the Meta Religion as soon as I graduated from university. Can I ask you some questions? Why did you choose to join the Meta Religion? My parents told me that Meta was the most promising religion and that working in such a great religion would be an honor. Can you share it with us? What do you do in Meta? My job is to perform Aaron Yes. Aaron Yes is the virtual idol of the Meta religion. Each day, I had to wear heavy motion capture equipment. Motion capture equipment is used to record data from my body. By conducting my data, Aaron Yes can do the same actions as I do. Make the same expressions as I do. And have the same personality as I do. Every day, I interact with Irini's fans through live streaming. I couldn't wait for you to come and play the cover. I learned to sing for her fans and dance for her fans. Erin Yes is the hottest idol in the Meta religion. And her avid fans are willing to offer her money and blessings. I have heard that Erin Yes has raised much money for the Meta religion and attracted more believers. Aaron Yes has made more people look forward to the metaverse. Do you like your job? We have received information that your pay is very low and that you need to work extra long hours. I love what I do. I am willing to give my all for the great metaverse cause. Sometimes I feel that I am Aaron Yes, 
and Aaron Yes is me. I am already a part of Aaron Yes, and Aaron Yes is a part of me. Hi. Hello. I'm glad we were able to get in touch with you again. I am sorry that our previous interview cost you the job. It doesn't matter. I was the one who broke the rules of Meta. I shouldn't have revealed the identity of Aaron Yes. We've noticed that Aaron Yes hasn't been around for a while. Will someone else be taking over your job? I'm not the first person to play Aaron Yes, and I won't be the last. These are the videos we secretly collected in Meta. She looks a lot like Aaron Yes. Do you know who she is? I'm not sure exactly. She seems to be an upgraded version of Aaron Yes. All I know is that she is a sacred object of meta-religion, a data feeding, no human playing, artificial intelligence marvel. Do you know Meta's purpose in feeding her? This is not in my field of knowledge. All I know is that I, we, are all just sacrifices of data that can be replaced at any time. Welcome to the Metaverse. Hello， 大家好，欢迎来到娱乐占卜频道。今天占卜的主题是：在疫情期间，作为年轻人的你会面临些什么呢？占卜前发送领取好运与视频进行能量链接，因为本视频属于大众占卜，能量混杂，希望大家选择与自己对应的信息即可。今天给大家准备了三组指示物，现在请大家凭借第一直觉选择一组跟你最有感应的选项吧。在疫情影响下
，我和长时间异地的恋人分手了。距离的遥远和出行的不便激发了很多问题，嗯，最后草草结束了这段感情。这让我在难过的同时，陷入了对这段感情的深深怀疑。在分手之后，我在网络上疯狂的刷有关感情占卜类的视频，比如他如何看待这段关系，嗯，你们的感情还会有转机吗？谁是我的命中注定伴侣等，在这些视频里，我试图去寻找一个答案，以及一些心理安慰吧。我是二零二零届毕业的大学生，我们这一届比较倒霉嘛，正好赶上了疫情。当时很多公司呢，要不倒闭，要么就是在裁员，招人的岗位也是非常的少，竞争力特别大。我记得我们那一届应该是百分之七十的学生，应届毕业生他都找不到工作。呃，去年一月的时候，我刚刚入职了一家公司，结果在我入职了还不到三个月的时候，公司倒闭了。之后呢，我也断断续续在好几家公司做过短期的工作，但是一直都没有一份稳定的。当然，我的情况是不敢告诉我的父母的，因为在父母的眼里。没有一份稳定的工作，那我还得漂什么？他会觉得我是一个失败的成年人，所以在这种极大的焦虑和压力下呢，我就去看娱乐占卜视频。呃，我知道这娱乐占卜它有一定的玄学，但是呢，在我状态非常差的时候，他实在的给我提供了一个心理的寄托。反正现实已经不会更糟，所以当我陷入了极大焦虑的时候呢，我都会去看这类的视频。视频里总是告诉我，我很快会有一份非常有吸引力的高薪工作，我只需要耐心的等。虽然我知道这是一句安慰的话，但是每当我想放弃的时候，我就会想起视频里那句：“再等等，好工作很快就会来。”从大学入学开始，疫情就已经开始了。在学校大多数时间啊，躺在床上看看网课，要么就是时不时的做核酸。然后又向学校汇报，平时也是不能出去。然后这种日子就是每天这样重复来重复去，不能对未来做太多的计划，因为疫情老是反复，它会打乱你生活的节奏。所以说就很迷茫，以后到底要干什么？然后的人生到底要去做什么？所以说我会去想去寻找这些答案。这可能就是我经常看占卜视频的原因吧。我最常看的视频就是，呃，你的隐藏的天赋能力是什么？嗯、呃，另一个就是你的人生使命之类的。我之前看的一个。占卜师他说一句话让我印象蛮深的，他说：“人到这个世界上总是会有自己的意义的，希望每个人来到这里都能找到自己所期待的未来。”我觉得听到这种话还挺温暖的。虽然确实这种视频存在了很大的争议，然后外人来看我们这些沉迷于这种视频的人，他们也觉得很奇怪、很荒谬。但是有些时候对我来说还是蛮有用。Often, as with the favourite subject of Susanna and the Elders, this is the actual theme of the picture. We join the Elders to spy on her. She looks back at us, looking at her. Sometimes the woman, Susanna, looks at herself in a mirror, picturing to herself how men see her. She sees herself first and foremost as a sight. Which means a sight for men. Thus, the mirror became a symbol of the vanity of women. Yet the male hypocrisy in this is blatant. You paint a naked woman because you enjoy looking at her. You put a mirror in her hand, and you call the painting vanity. Thus, morally condemning the woman whose nakedness you have depicted for your own pleasure, and thus, incidentally, repeating the biblical example by blaming the woman. I don't want to deny the crucial part that seeing plays in sexuality, but there's a great difference between being seen as oneself naked or seeing another in that way, and a body being put on display. To be naked is to be without disguise. To be on display is to have the surface of one's own skin, the hairs of one's own body, turned into a disguise, a disguise which cannot be discarded. Amongst the tens of thousands of European oil paintings of nudes, there are perhaps twenty or thirty exceptions. Paintings in which the artist has seen the woman revealed as herself. This Rubens. This Rembrandt. This Georges de Latour. These paintings are as personal as love poems.
and their character is quite distinctive. Most nudes in oil paintings have been lined up by their painters for the pleasure of the male spectator owner, who will assess and judge them as sights. Their nudity is another form of dress. They are condemned to never being naked. With their clothes off, they are as formal as with their clothes on. Those who are not judged beautiful are not beautiful. Those who are are given the prize. The prize is to be owned, that is to say, to be available. Charles II commissioned this secret painting from Lely. It's like hundreds of others. It might be Venus and Cupid. But in fact, it was a portrait of one of his mistresses, Nell Gwynne. It shows her passively looking at the spectator, staring at her naked. Her nakedness is not an expression of her own feelings. It is only a sign of her submission to his demand. The painting, when he shows it to others, demonstrates this submission. His guests envy him. In oil painting, the second person, or the second person who matters, is the stranger looking at the picture. Compare the expression of these two women. One the model for what is considered a masterpiece by Ang, and the other an ill-paid model for a photograph in a girly magazine. Or these two. Just the expression, the look. What do you see? It seems to me that in each pair the expression is remarkably similar and that it is an expression of responding with calculated charm to the man whom she knows is looking at her. Do you always wake up with determination but go to bed with back pain? Do you always miss lunch because of the endless online meetings? Are you constantly interrupted by others, procrastinating, fatigued, and unable to complete your work plan for the day. If you are making a mess of your work and life because you work from home, the wearable home office can save your life. Here are the five tips to help you use the wearable home office, rebalance your work and life, and make work and life easier, happier, and healthier. Tip 1. Stop being sedentary for good. You don't have to be confined to one posture anymore, so have fun switching it up. With a wearable office, you can work sitting down, standing up, or even while walking. Ensure you leave work as relaxed as possible at the end of the day. Tip 2. Eat or go to the toilet at any time. Endless meetings while working from home often means starving yourself or holding your pee or shit. But at the same time, you need to keep smiling at your colleagues on screen. And why fight it? With this wearable office, you can cook while working, eat while working, and even take a shit while working. No one will know that, so you can manage your work and life better. Tip 3. Fitness has never been so easy. A good home office that makes you come alive, feel good in your body and do your most inspired work. The wearable home office can do that. You can stretch and even exercise whenever you want. Let's do some poses now to get stress-free. Tip 4. Keep you alert without dozing off. If you always feel fatigued or sleepy, and want to work from bed, but eventually fall asleep, the wearable office can help you to be alert and focused while working. This is because when you wear it, you must always keep your body balanced. If you doze off, a wearable office that suddenly loses its balance can wake you up in time. Tip 5. Keep yourself in the place with the best signal. If you had a fixed workspace, that is unfortunately too far away from your router, this would be your biggest annoyance for working from home relying on the internet. But the wearable home office bypasses this problem perfectly, allowing you to find the corner of your home with the best signal and get your online work done unimpededly. It is time to change up the way you work now. And your future self will thank you for your good choice of this wearable home office, to achieve the balance between work and life. 
You are in the right direction, going toward a happy, healthy, relaxed, productive, and successful life.